Hi everybody, my name's Michelle and this is my channel Sewing Bunny and my video today is sharing with you all of the items that I de-stashed from my wardrobe. So if you'd seen the video before this one, um, it was my wardrobe tour and how I've organised my wardrobe. So if you are interested in watching that one first, then please do. I'll pop a little card up here somewhere so you can have a look if you want. Um, but yes, all of the me made items um, that I don't have in my wardrobe now that have been donated, given to friends and family, um, or unfortunately some did have to go to textile recycling as well. But I thought it would be nice to share with you everything that I um, got rid of from my wardrobe that was me made. Uh, you might be interested to know kind of why I got rid of it um, or yeah, just things like that. So I will get going with it quite quickly because I have 49 items. Um, apologies if I do look down because I have got them all written down um, on here. On my notepad. Um, so I will be looking down because, yes, I can't remember all of them. Um, if anyone's wondering what I'm wearing, um, this is the Soho House 7 toaster sweater in a cable knit. It's a bit chilly today, so yeah, um, I wanted to wear something cosy. And I'm wearing my new Ethel and Joan earrings and they're orange and pink. Oh, I love them. I absolutely love them. Uh, <laughs> okay, so let's get going. Um, first off was a pair of Visco shorts. Um, now, these were very, very, very early makes um, and it was, I don't have the pattern number because I, when I looked back on Instagram, I didn't even write the pattern number um, in that. But um, yeah, it was a pair of trousers. The, the pattern was a pair of trousers. And what I thought I would do is um, shorten them into like sort of shorts, obviously. And the waistband, rather than doing like a zip and everything, I thought I could just put, you know, a strip of scuba um, around the top like an elasticated sort of waist so there's no elastic in it it's just literally scuba um, and they ended up being really puffy and you just I mean they were not very well made at all um, it was very very cheap viscose um, and yeah I got rid of those because yes I did wear them like in the summer and everything but um, yeah they were just too short I wouldn't wear them out I've got so many other pairs of shorts I can wear like sort of lounge shorts so I thought no don't need those anymore those did have to go to textile recycling because yes nobody could sell those on <laughs> um next up was actually a little bit sad it was my Tilly and the Buttons Bettine dress loved that dress um I wore it to holidays and uh, yeah it was probably one of the first little patterns I sort of made and I was like kind of oh I've done really well on that um, I mean, to be honest, it never fit me 100%. Um, it was always quite tight over the hips. Um, and I think because of that, um, the viscose was really wearing thin. Um, it was, again, quite a cheap viscose fabric. Um, and because it didn't fit me that well over the hips, um, yeah, it just got really thin. And um, yeah, the last kind of couple of holidays when I went to go take it, I was like, no, it's just too too thin now it's just it's, it doesn't look nice at all um so unfortunately that one also did have to go to textile recycling because yeah again nobody would want to buy a viscose that's wearing a thin um so yeah a bit sad about that one but if i do make that one again i'll definitely size up so it fits over the hips um after that was um, a vintage um style shirt um it was simplicity 1590 I loved making this shirt. It's so, so nice. I loved it. Loved everything from like the yellow on it and the style. But to be honest, I wasn't really wearing it that much. It was quite um, roomy sort of up here. Um, it was all right around sort of like the waist and everything. But just up here, I just found it too, too much fabric. Um, and yeah, I just wasn't reaching for it. It's a lovely, lovely shirt, but yeah, I just wasn't reaching for it. And um, yeah, I thought that one I'm going to have to donate. So yeah, that one um, is going to new home. Um, and then next up was a koala sort of um, jersey tee. I can't remember the pattern of it. I think it was like a free pattern I found online. Um, but yeah, it was not very good. It was probably one of my first sort of t-shirts I guess um the neck was kind of <laughs> out here um on the t-shirt uh, it was kind of ended up being a boat neck when it wasn't supposed to be um the sleeves were like really gathered and puffy 
um yeah the hem was really wonky i mean i, I loved that t-shirt because i thought the koalas were just so so cute um but yeah that one again just it wasn't a very well made item i wasn't reaching for it because it fit very badly um so yeah that one did have to go into the textile recycling as well i was debating kind of keeping it and cutting it up into sort of like you know to do undies or something but i've got so many scrap jersey fabrics so i was like no just get rid of that one um and then after that was another tilling the buttons um uh dress it was the lilu dress from her um first um book uh, so I made this for one of my friend's weddings. Um, so it was my first dress that I made that had a bodice lining. And yeah, it's a really nice dress, but I just kind of, I, I wore it to the wedding and, you know, it was very nice and everything, but it's not really a dress that I would ever wear again. Um, you know, there wasn't another sort of occasion where I felt that like I wanted to wear it. I wanted to like make new things. And um, yeah, I, it didn't fit me 100%. I think I should have like lowered the waist um and everything uh so that one has been donated um after that it was the uh, minetta dress um by colette um again i wore that to a wedding um it's actually i think it was the weekend after the wedding where i wore the other dress um but it was in a uh, like a scuba crepe um fabric really pretty fabric and everything but i didn't make the elasticated waist well at all um it was stretched out it was all wibbly wobbly i mean thankfully on the wedding i hid it with a, a belt <laughs> so you couldn't really see it um but also because it was scuba crepe um and because it was quite close fitting i found it really hot and um just not very nice unfortunately with that one now i have donated that one because i thought maybe some people might not notice that sort of wibbly wobbly bit of the skirt maybe it was just me but i have donated that one so hopefully someone else can enjoy that um, after that, um, it was a sky wrap. Um, so I made this, I wore it a handful of times, but I'm just not reaching for it. I know absolutely that my mum will love that. Uh, so that has gone to my mum. <laughs> um, next up was a Molly top by Sew Over It. This was an orange and black, um, stripy one. I think it was actually my first ever Molly top. Uh, that jersey was so cheap um it was really thin um wasn't very stretchy um i did wear it for a while and i did enjoy it but then you know after a few washes and stuff it was just it didn't go very nice it just, it just went horrible so that one unfortunately had to be recycled um and then after that was oh my coco wawa um crafts lily top i love this top um, I really enjoyed making it. I love how it looks, but I'm just not wearing it. Just not wearing it. Um, it's probably a little bit too cropped for me. I should have lengthened it. Um, and yeah, it just kind of, I think also like the cuffs on it, I didn't make wide enough. So it's kind of like, you know, like when you bend your arm, it was like cutting off a bit of my circulation if I was like <laughs> bending my arm. Um, so yeah, I just wasn't reaching for it. So that one has been donated. Um, as well and I hope someone really um, likes that one because yeah I was sad to let that one go um, I might try and make that one again maybe sort of replicate it because it's so cute um, then we've got the I am Artemis jacket um, when I made this I wasn't sure if the proper like, oversized sort of um, you know ponty style jacket sort of suited me it was okay I did wear it a few times but I wasn't reaching for it so that one has been donated as well. Um, then I, um, this one actually was a bit special. This is the Workhorse Patterns um, Ioni um, sort of top. Um, this was my first ever pattern test uh, for Workhorse Patterns. Um, and so, yeah, it did like hold a bit of a special place in my heart. Um, I made it with um, like a, a cotton on the top and then the black um, was a viscose. Um, I loved how it looked. Um, it was a little bit cropped, um, but at the time I didn't really mind that. Um, but yeah, I wasn't reaching for it. Um, I think the cotton on the top was quite sort of boxy for me, so I wasn't really reaching for it. Um, and also the hem was <laughs> proper wibbly wobbly. Um, I have donated that one. Hopefully someone won't notice the wibbly wobbly hem. Um, but yeah, it was a really nice one. That was the first top that I did the burrito method 
on as well. Um, so yeah, I was a bit sad to let that one go, but I wasn't going to wear it. So yeah, had to go. Uh, then we've got um, the New Look 6483. This was just made in a cotton. Um, I think it was probably the first time I made that pattern. And um, yeah, I wasn't wearing it. It was because it was made out of like a quilting cotton. It was really boxy and yeah, I wasn't wearing it. Also, the um, the fabrics were different. So the front was like this sort of uh, really nice sort of tile print, but the back was a plain blue. Um, and at the time I thought it's fantastic and I wore it out loads, but yeah, just after a while I wasn't wearing it. So that one's been donated. Um, we've got a plantain, deer and doe plantain tea. This is one that I made with the um, arm, uh, elbow patches. Uh, really, really like that top. But yeah, again, it was just one of those that was wearing really thin. It wasn't looking nice. The neckband um, stretched out ridiculously. Um, it just started looking really horrible. So unfortunately, that one did have to go to textile recycling. Uh, then we've got, oh yeah, the Sew Over It Cocoa Jacket. Uh, again, really enjoyed making this one. Uh, a little bit disappointed in myself that I um, did such a cheap lining in it. Um, it was a wool, um, really nice sort of burgundy wool, but it did, I sort of used this sort of um, biscuit colour sort of lining. Um, but do you know what? Again, I, I wasn't wearing it. I found it a bit too cropped for me. It didn't quite, because I was quite broad-shouldered, it just didn't feel quite right on the top. Um, so that one I've given to my mum as well, because again, I know she'll love that. Uh, next up, again, another sew over it um, pattern. This is the carry trousers um, in a polka dot um, viscose sort of crepe. Or actually, I think it was like a crinkle crepe. I don't think there's any viscose in it. It was hot and sweaty, basically. Um, really nice trousers, but not practical at all. So those got donated. Um, my first ever Mia jeans as well. Well, actually, my only Mia jeans uh, that I made. Again, sew over it. Um, really pretty shorts, loved this fabric. The zip was not a good one at all. Like you could just see it exposed the whole time I was wearing it. But I was kind of wearing them, you know, kind of around the house. But recently just, they do not fit my thighs at all. <laughs> um, so it was just it was almost a bit uncomfortable. They're a bit too tight. I think I made them too small at the time. I think I remember anyway. Um, so yeah, those have been donated. Uh, then we've got Tilling the Buttons Romy top um, in this cute little pineapple print. Uh, really nice little t-shirt, but again, I wasn't wearing it. Um, the fabric wasn't the nicest jersey. It didn't have a lot of stretch. Um, and then the bow at the back, I just kind of found it a bit awkward. Like it was just gaping a lot of the time. Um, so I don't think it was the pattern for me. Um, so I thought, no, I won't, uh, I won't keep that one. So that one has been donated. Um, oh, my Coco Wawa Crafts Honeycomb Chambray dress. I think you might have heard me mention this in a previous video. I loved that dress so much that I've put it on my Make Nine this year to recreate. Um, that one, it just got loved to death. Uh, so I wore it loads, but it was just made in a in a very cheap chambray um, fabric that um, just was it had pulls. Um, it was more or less disintegrating, <laughs> like my stitching was disintegrating on it. Um, and yeah, it just wasn't very nice at all. And it was getting to the point where I was not reaching for it because it was looking in a bit of a horrible state. So yeah, that one had to go to textile recycling. Uh, but yeah, I'm hopefully going to make another one um, of that. Um, I made a, um, I've just put on here, free sleeveless top. I think I got it in a sewing magazine. Um, and it was like a sort of, a bit like the Sew Over It Silk Cami, um, but like a free version that came in a uh, sewing magazine. Um, and I made it um, in a, oh, I don't even know what sort of fabric it was. It was like, um, like a real polyester type, I call it like squeaky fabric. It was like, you know, you can just really hear like how the fabric sort of felt against your nails and stuff. I hope that kind of makes sense, but ugh, no, didn't wear it. So that one's been donated. Um, the Margot uh, PJ uh, Bottoms from Tilling the Buttons book. Again, her first book, Love at First Stitch. Um, yeah, I wasn't really wearing those because they were kind of like a tie waist um, and they just came out massive and I really had to pull on the pyjama bottoms to be able to kind of get it to fit around my waist, just annoying me a little bit. 
um, and I've got so many other sort of pajama bottoms I could have you know maybe changed it over and put some elastic in but yeah I just wasn't wearing them I've got loads of others so those got donated um, then I've also got some um, again tin in the buttons this is from the make it simple book um, the Safia um, trousers these are the first ones I made I made them in a viscose jersey sorry if you can hear seagulls <laughs> we do get quite a lot around here um, and uh, yeah I made them in a viscose jersey and yeah I again just wasn't really wearing them I think the bottoms after a few washes started to go quite wavy um, and I found that I was getting a lot of uh, VPL <laughs> so you basically see my pants um, through them because they're a viscose jersey and they kind of went over obviously when they went over my bum I was a bit like mm. so I've donated those they're still good enough but yeah not for me um and then we've got oh yeah speaking of the sew over at silk cami the sew over at silk cami i'm so disappointed uh with this one the fabric i loved it had like loads of like, little daffodils on it it was the first time that i'd done um like a, a rolled hem finish on my overlocker on the bottom a beautiful beautiful top but it just did not fit me and I was clinging on to it, thinking, well, you know, if I lose weight and all that, maybe it will fit me. But across the chest, I never normally have this problem with patterns. But for some reason, that pattern did not fit me over the chest. Um, it was really, really tight across the bust. Um, so I have donated that one. Hopefully that will go to a loving home because, yeah, I really, really like that one. I'm so upset that it didn't fit me. Uh, then we've got the I Am Patterned Joy Top. Um, this is the... Um, uh, one I made in like a viscose sort of like I think it was like a sort of orange and red and black background um one really pretty fabric um but yeah that one it, it didn't fit me too well I think I'd mucked up the um neckline I made it too wide it stretched out and also the um elastication on the um arms was too tight far too tight for me um, so I wasn't wearing it because it was, I was getting like marks sort of on it. I was debating that I could take the elastic out and, you know, just put more elastic in, but the, um, the neckline was bothering me, um, a little bit. So that one has been donated because again, someone might not notice that neckline, you know, they might be all right with it. Um, but yeah, it wasn't for me. Uh, then we've got, oh, the Simple Sew Juliet tie back blouse. And I have worn this one quite a lot, but um, again, it was made in that sort of polyester um, kind of fabric that's, you know, makes a noise. <laughs> um, and um, it had this bright pink bow at the back, really pretty, but I just kind of was only wearing it every now and again. And I was like, mm, no, I was just, it was one of those that if you'd seen my, when I did my wardrobe clear out, I kind of did, when I organised things, I kind of went back um, and then kind of, went back in and uh, then donated a few more and that one I was like mm, no let's donate that one um I wasn't wearing it enough to justify it being in my wardrobe if that kind of makes sense uh we've got a till in the buttons Frankie T as well um that one really nice um kind of with some uh, stripes on the um raglan sleeves um I made Stuart a um a t-shirt um, using that fabric and that was a little scrap buster that I did where I just used it for the sleeves um, but I donated that one because yeah I just wasn't really wearing it to be honest it wasn't really calling out to me um, every time I went into my wardrobe so I thought someone else will get uh, use out of that one uh, then we've got the McCall's 7543 this was an off the shoulder um, even with little straps sort of like um, little viscose top um, for some reason I used um, a different thread like a, a not one that matched so it's like I think it's like a white thread or something um, it was okay that top but nah I just wasn't wasn't going for it so um, that one has been donated as well <gasps> turn the page um, then we've got the Stitch Upon a Time Mary Peplum. This was made in a viscose jersey. Now I do have another Mary Peplum, which I wear all the time, like a green um, one, uh, but that was made in um, uh, a slightly thicker jersey. Um, the viscose jersey I just found for that top, just again, just wasn't reaching for it in my wardrobe, a little bit clingy. So that one has been donated. 
um, the Adrienne top um, by Friday Pattern Company. Um, I do like it, but I wasn't wearing it. I think it's because the sleeves were so puffy. I used 95% um, uh, cotton, 5% um, spandex um, cotton jersey, and I just found that it was just too bulky on the sleeves. So again, wasn't really reaching for it. I also find that that top is quite um, fitting on the bodice and just made me feel a bit self-conscious. So um, that one has been donated. Um, another honeycomb dress by Coco Wawa Crafts. Um, again, I love this dress, but I wasn't reaching for it. I think it was the colour. Um, I think it was just a bit too all yellow for me. I love yellow and I love wearing yellow. Um, but I just kind of found, I think, that shade of yellow and being all over just wasn't, I, I just wasn't going for it. So that one has been donated, uh, donated as well. Um, I've got on here a uh, free cami top. I remember this one. This was, um, I made one in a black velvet and one in a pink velvet. Uh, the black velvet one I've kept um, because, yeah, it was just quite a nice little one. The pink one I've got rid of. I wasn't wearing it. Um, also, I think it was a little bit see-through as well on the chest, from what I remember. Um, so, yeah, that one I've donated. Um, oh, yeah, another plantain, Deer and Doe plantain. Uh, this was uh, one that was pale pink and had, like, bird print on. That was a very um, inexpensive um well, I think they called it a cotton jersey, but it wasn't. It was like a sort of, well, it was a really thin cotton jersey. Um, do you know what? It just annoyed me because it wrinkled so much. I've never known jersey to wrinkle in that way. It was just literally, you just looked at it and it would just completely wrinkle. And I was getting fed up of ironing it. So that one's been donated. <laughs> um, then I've got my um, Sirocco play suit. Um, that's the Deer and Doe Sirocco. Um, that's the second one I made. The first one I did the full length. Um, this one I did the short version um, in a scuba crepe. Um, it was a really nice scuba crepe actually. It was kind of, wasn't really hot and sweaty or anything, but I just found it I didn't like how it looked on me, um, the short version. If I'd made it in a full length, I would have kept it 100%. But yeah, the shorts just made me feel self-conscious. It was a little bit too tight on the thighs for my liking. Um, so yeah, that one's been donated. Um, oh, I put this one in here just in case anyone was interested. I made a hat, um, like nice little denim hat. Um, I think this was from LB Textiles, I think. Um, and yeah, I donated that one I wasn't wearing it <laughs> I thought it was really cute and everything but yeah I don't tend to wear denim hats I think um I've got kind of like a sort of trilby sort of straw hat that I wear you know like in the summer and stuff so I'm just going to stick to that um then I've got the um Cartagena I think it's pronounced cami um by it's just stitch um this one I made in like a, a unicorn rainbow um, one really really nice um, but unfortunately the straps and the neckline have pulled it right out it's like literally you lean over and it just yeah um, it completely stretched out the fold over elastic I think I used was I don't know if it just didn't wash well or something but yeah it's grown massively on that one so unfortunately that one did have to go to recycling um we've got uh, oh yes my pineapple dress my McCall's pineapple dress uh this is m6891 and i did a sew along for this which i know um has actually been a really popular one because so many people had an issue with the collar and i still remember uh scratching my head in when i had that video of just going like i don't know what i'm doing here um <laughs> um yeah that was a really nice dress but yeah just again wasn't wearing it I'm not sure whether it was maybe just all the pineapples <laughs> just kind of I, I did wear it to like a few summer barbecues and things like that but just I think it's just not my style anymore um just yeah just wasn't wasn't kind of saying keep me when I was like looking at it so that one has been donated um and then yeah a little bit sad about this one actually as well this is the um phoebe flounce and uh maxi sort of combo together so they're two separate patterns but they fit together if you want to make a dress so you can either make them as separates or you can make it as a dress and i made it as a dress 
really liked the dress but do you know what I just couldn't find the right time to wear it I found that it was a bit too smart for when I wanted to wear it as a casual dress and if I had a smart occasion I found it a bit sort of too casual that kind of makes sense so I've just I wore it a few times but yeah it just wasn't I don't know it just didn't fit in with my day-to-day -day sort of style um, but I know somebody else will absolutely love that. So that has been donated. Um, and I know that that will go to a nice home, I'm sure, because um, yeah, it's a really, really pretty dress. I really love that dress. But um, yeah, just it wasn't calling to me every time it was sat in my wardrobe. Um, then we've got the Luna Tank <laughs> um, by Helen's Closet. This was Helen's um, first free sewing pattern. And I made this using a very slippery, um, is it, do you call it like an ITY or something? It's like a really like silky um, sort of knit fabric. Um, and oh, I made a complete dog's dinner of that. Um, it was all a bit pulled and a bit meh. Um, I kept it because I thought I could just wear it for summer and things like that. But no, it just wasn't. Um, being used and uh, yeah it, it wasn't very well made so that one did go into textile recycling. Um, the Morris blazer um, this was oh I can't remember who makes this um, one is it Grainline Studio? I can't remember um, but yeah this is the Morris blazer um, nice pattern um, loved the colour just wasn't wasn't wearing it um, that one given to mum as well <laughs> Um, my Vera top, my first Vera top, this is a free sewing pattern and um, I did love this one. It was in a viscose jersey in this sort of like rusty sort of colour. Um, but yeah, I just found that again that one was, it was annoying me a little bit because it needed a lot of ironing. A bit similar to the um, plantain one that I was saying, you know, that viscose jersey of just every time I pulled it out of my wardrobe it's like, oh it needs to be ironed again. Um, and, you know, those sort of like jersey tops, you know, fair enough. You might need to do, you know, just a little quick once over. But it was literally all the time, like all the whole bodice, all the sleeves. Um, and, yeah, I just it was too high maintenance for me, really. <laughs> so um, that one has been donated. Um, my Deer and Doe sort of, um, I think it was called the, the jacket or something from their ebook. It's like a long cardigan. Um really nice really nice and warm um and everything but yeah wasn't reaching for that one so um yeah that one um i think i did i give that to my mum i might have done i think um it's a really nice cardigan but yeah just wasn't wearing it um then there was the iris tea um by forget me not patterns and um, now i made two i made a pink one and a blue one uh, the pink one I did the long sleeve version which I love uh, the short sleeve version that I did in the blue with the had like extra pleats just wasn't wearing it I didn't really like the pleats that much um this wasn't really my style so that one has been donated um then I've got uh, the workhorse patterns uh, Shona romper um I quite enjoyed making this one um but for some stupid reason I lengthened the bodice too much um, and so it was just a little bit baggy around the bottom um, and everything. But I still wore it, um, you know, to sleep in because that's what it was for. Um, but yeah, I just, I did wear it quite a lot, but I just wasn't really wearing it to bed. I was just, just a bit awkward, I think, maybe kind of with the, all the poppers and everything, you know, getting up and going to the loo and stuff. Uh, it was okay, but, you know, I've got so many other sort of pyjamas that I was reaching for that, I was like, no, I'm not really um, going to wear that one. And because I had worn it and washed it a lot and everything, um, and because of the fit and everything, I have just um, done that to textile recycling because I thought, I don't know, I didn't feel right kind of putting it to donate. <laughs> um, and then we've got the Heidi uh, dress by AK Patterns. This is made in uh, like a pink and blue uh, viscose, really pretty. But again, I just, just wasn't, going for it every time I open my wardrobe and I want to wear a dress I wouldn't pick that one I did wear it a few times I think maybe because the whole thing of it was so pale um I just thought maybe it just made me look a bit washed out maybe so that one has been donated um my double gauze pm patterns sun top 
Um, I did this as a Felicity Fabrics um, challenge where you had to put some, uh, oh no, it was just, it, it was a double gauze challenge. Um, and I did like some sparkly piping and things on it. Um, didn't really do the gathers too well um, in, in that. Um, and again, I just wasn't sure maybe the colour, whether it just washed me out a little bit. Um, really pretty top. Um, but yeah, I did donate that one just because I wasn't wearing it. Um, then we've got, where am I at? Oh yeah, my new look wrap dress, which was 6301. Um, yeah, just again, wasn't reaching for it. Something about that wrap dress just didn't feel right to me. Um, I, I put it on, I couldn't quite put my finger on what it was, but every time I was like, no, I'll, I'll reach for a different dress. Um, so that one's been donated. Uh, then my Galaxy tee that I made uh, in a mint jersey with some lace um, on the sleeves. So this one, uh, you might not remember, but when I made it, I think I didn't gather both sleeves sort of in the right way. Um, and I was saying, you know, oh, I'm sure it won't bother me. I'm sure it'll be fine. It bothered me. I saw it every time and I couldn't get it out of my head. So that one uh, is going to a new home. <laughs> um and then the um, uh, the Lauren top by DG Patterns. Again, I think I might have mentioned this in another video where, again, the fit just wasn't quite quite right on me. It was too tight across the bust. Um, the bust darts were in like a weird place. Really love how that top sort of looked in general, but it just didn't fit me. So that one's um, going to be donated. Um, and then we've got uh, a wrap jersey top. This is McCall's pattern 8219. Um, again, I mentioned this one um, in a previous video, just too gapy at the front. I seem to go from two extremes, either too tight across the bust or too, too baggy. Um, but yeah, this one was far too baggy at the front. Such a shame because I do love that fabric. It's so, so pretty. Um, but that one has been donated. I'm hoping that I'll go to a nice home, that one. Um, and then my Simplicity Jumpsuit 9125, I think I mentioned that as well in a recent video, um, was that it kind of goes like a sort of a wrap at the back and it was really gapy. I had to wear um, a vest top underneath it. Um, I should have lowered the crotch depth um, and everything like just it was very tight across the bum. Um, so, yeah, it didn't quite work out. I loved how it sort of looked from the front, but at the back, just didn't like that at all. Oh, and then we're down to the last one. So the last one was my uh, patina blouse by Friday Pattern Company. Um, again, loved like the whole aesthetic of that um, blouse. It was in a beautiful sort of like a pinky lavender viscose with animals all over it. And then I did a white collar and I did piping. I love how that sort of looked, but oh, it was the collar that just was getting me. It was, the collar wasn't like sort of, um, sort of stiff and, um, well, oh, not like stiff, but it just, I made it in a viscose and I think it just was wrinkling the whole time. And I was really trying not to make it bother me. Um, but every time I reached for it and put it on, I was like, oh, no. I tried doing like the spray starch and things on it, but nothing I could do would make it look just that nice flat collar. So I did donate that one. I was a little bit sad um, to get rid of that one because I think I would have really worn that if that had gone how it should have been in my mind. Yes, I could have, you know, taken the, the collar off and redone it all and all that, but you know, I was like, no, someone else will um, not be bothered by a tiny amount of wrinkling. <laughs> um on that so um yeah i thought donate that one so that is everything i feel like i've got a bit of a sore throat now all that talking um but yes that was everything that i um got rid of from my me made wardrobe so yeah nearly 50 items in total so i'm really proud of myself that i got rid of um those because yeah things i wasn't wearing or things that you know kind of just you know needed to go um, meant, meant that I've got now room in my wardrobe, you know, for other things that I want to make. Um, and yeah, just really nice feeling that, you know, I have, you know, kind of got rid of them. Don't be wrong, very sad because, you know, you spend all this time sort of making 
um, you know, your own clothes and, you know, they are quite precious. Um, but most of them, you know, are going to go to new homes, are going to go donate to charity or my friends and family. Um, and then there's only a few that I've had to actually recycle, which, do you know what, some of them, you know, I, I, I don't mind. I'm not too precious about because, you know, the fabrics and, you know, they're my early day sort of things. Um, but yes, I've now got a little bit of room in my wardrobe to then, you know, make new things. Um, and then maybe at the end of next year, I might do the same, have a have a look over. What do I need to, you know, get rid of? What am I not reaching for? Um, so, yeah, overall for me, it's been a really, really good exercise doing, a, you know, my wardrobe declutter and, you know, getting rid of um, certain new maids. So, yes, let me know what you think. Um, and, yeah, have you done anything similar? Have you got rid of any uh, clothes recently? I know sometimes when it's like, you know, the beginning of the year, sometimes people are like, oh, yes, I'll get rid of, you know, a few things, you know, kind of new year, new start and all that. <laughs> um, but, yes, hope you enjoyed and I will speak to you in my next video. Take care. Bye.